That is sweet. Of course, Anne Margaret was also in that movie. Sally and Vicki say they hope to not only see Big Tex again next year, they hope to have a reunion of their other schoolmates, and we hope that they have a very happy get-together. It is one of the most anticipated books of the year, the first book from John Green since The Fault in Our Stars. It's called Turtles All the Way Down, and literary expert Gren Reyes with FreshFiction.com joins us this morning. How Hi, are Chase. you this morning? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Staying warm? I am staying warm in pants because it's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, okay. So this is a story of love and longtime friendship. Yes, and this is our first book. Turtles All the Way Down is so sweet. It comes out today, so I know our younger readers are super excited and probably our older readers as well. Um, but what I loved about it is kind of like it reminded me a lot of Harriet the Spy. We have this one girl who's just trying to be the perfect daughter, the perfect friend, and she gets embroiled with her her best friend investigating this million this billionaire who has gone mm -hmm. missing. And through that, she falls in love. She learns about friendship, and it's a really great story. And it's done the the best way that John Green knows how. So you're going to be crying by the end of it. So you liked it? I did. I really liked it a lot. Okay, another book that's out, Mad Men creator Matthew Weiner mm -hmm. has debuted a new fiction novel. Yes. And as you said, he's great about writing about domestic issues. Yes, he is. He's great <laughs> about writing of domestic drama. So Heather the Totality actually comes out in November, so we're getting a little sneak peek at this. Um, this is Matthew Weiner. Our viewers may remember that he is the creator of Mad Men. Um, and what I loved about this book is we've got a family that is trying really hard to be above everything. They're trying to make as much money as they possibly can. They're trying to be the best that they can and their upstairs neighbor who has the penthouse kind of ingratiates himself with the family and it turns into this whole weird sort of mystery but also love story and it's just really really interesting and I thought Matthew Weiner for his first book did a really really great job. Okay, yeah. Da Vinci Code author yes. Dan Brown has a new book Origin. Origin, yes, and he was just here on Friday actually in Dallas um, and in this one we follow Robert Langdon who is played by uh, Tom Hanks in the films. In this one he uh, uh, goes to Spain. I always love it. It's like Robert goes to the whatever XYZ mm -hmm. country. But in this one, he goes to Spain and he is investigating another billionaire. There seems to be the trend this season um, who has like his fingers in sort of an extreme religion. And that's always sort of the underlying theme within Dan Brown's books mm -hmm. is sort of the push and pull of religion within our art and our culture. And so in this one, again, it's a really fun read. It's very captivating and it goes by so quickly. You're going to read it. I love Da Vinci Code. Is yeah. it as good as that? It's as good as Da Vinci Code. Really? It's. I really loved it. I thought I. My favorite was um, Angels and Demons. I thought that was his best one, and this one is probably his, my second favorite. Okay. Now, if you just like picture books, yes, you don't want to have to read. No reading. Here is your that? perfect picture book. I know. I mean, Claudia I wish we all Schiffer. looked like that too. That would be the, the dream. So this is Claudia Schiffer's uh, first book. She actually had a series of DVDs and workout bo workouts uh, videos in the in the 90s, but this is her first book, and it's just a curated collection of all of her favorite photos uh, for her entire career. Career. And she's, of course, had some fabulous photographers. Yes, she has. She's got, um, in this one, we had Helmut Lang in there. Um, it, it's just, it's the collection of photos in this book I had completely forgotten about, to be honest with you, because 19, it was in the 90s, but we have so many new supermodels coming out. And when you see something like this, you're reminded of what the modeling art is actually all about and how she was a true artist in what she was putting out there. And there's a Barbie picture? Yeah, she she dresses up like Barbie in some of them. I don't she remember also, this one. I don't really remember this one either but it's in the book and that was what was one of the surprises she also has a series in here where she kind of dresses like uh, jo uh, Joan Sebring who was very was God, from that's breathless I know how beautiful is she um, she was very popular for her guests her uh, ads for guest jeans so you're gonna see a lot of familiar photos in this one finally another photography book escape escape by Gray Mullen so he had a book out previously that was all about he's a surfer and he's a, a nature photographer and in his first book it was all about the beach and in this one he's going all over the world so he goes to the water he goes up to the mountains and he just kind of makes these beautiful images like that and it makes oh, you want to go pretty. like why don't we just go there right now let's, let's just, just go. do that let's just go today <laughs> <laughs> looks a lot warmer I love books for Christmas gifts yes and I think these so, are perfect Christmas gifts yeah. and you can kind of get every from your young adult to your uh, art enthusiast all right thanks Gwen good thanks, to see you and we'll be right back up next on GMT, where men can get free customization of suits and enjoy a